Welcome everybody. We are here at Combo Breaker 2023 with a very special game today. For honestly one of the first times in a long time, we are featuring Primal Rage, the original arcade version. And we have an awesome top eight coming here. I'm Humbag, brought to you here with Alex Pye. P, how you doing, sir? I'm doing hella good. Hey, I mean, When was the last time you got to see <laughs> Primal Rage? I, and especially, at, I'm hoping, a very high level. We got some great players here in this top eight. Uh, we got both Ketchup and Mustard yeah, are in I was, here. I was very impressed with how hard they trained going into this. Like, they were out oh, there yeah. streaming and practicing I, and as getting soon, ready. As soon as I saw they, they weren't doing commentary for this game, I go, oh, they're probably playing it, and they're oh, going to yeah. be in top eight. But our first top eight match, we're going to have Statistic, Statistic Steve versus Harambe for Harambe, and he better be using one of the monkeys in this game. If he's not, it, he probably should be DQ'd. <laughs> like, it's just unfair. But once again, the meteorites have landed. We are back to Earth. It is time for Primal Rage Top 8 action. I am looking forward to this so well. Oh, I am so very excited. And the players, I'm sure, are very happy that we were able to get the actual final version of the arcade oh, because yeah. the inputs are way the heck easier than it is on some of the older versions. So for a lot of you out there unfamiliar with this game, this game has a lot of features that were way ahead of its time in 1994. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a game they've got... If you play KOF, you're familiar with a lot of the jumping. They've got regular jump, yep. super jump, and short hops. It's uh, also crazy. Fit. You could jump cancel normals into yes. jumps. Uh, it, it, there's just high-low mix-ups galore, juggles. Yep. One of the first games to actually feature, if not the first, an actual stun meter on the screen for your characters. Yeah, the little brains underneath their health bar, that'll let you know how close they are to getting stunned. Great. I think we're going right into it. And oh, oh Harambe for Harambe. Not Wait, using Armadon. a gorilla. Oh, but Armadon versus Sauron here. Statistic Steve starting it off with an early jump in. A lot of jump ins in this game you could do with multiple hits. Yeah, the multi hit makes it so much harder to correctly defend. And then it's, uh, it's very scary also to try and anti air or with or against Armadon. Yep, definitely He's, got the air throw again. Ooh, ooh instant overhead. Quick it, round from Statistic yeah. Steve. You will also know it is damage in this game is very high. Yeah. Even just kind of kind of a simple two and one or just a few attacks can add up really quickly. And as you notice, the heart meter on top is your health. That brain is the stun meter. And stuns can happen. You can recon you can get one stun in a combo. Yeah, you it's land not a big one. super hard if you get a clean jump in. Like the Poking good side away. is that the stun meter recovers very quickly. Yeah, it does stun. It, it recovers really quickly. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Good anti-air. Yeah, Armadon is blessed with like four or five different good anti-airs. He's got a DP, another DP. Oh, nice. And a shell. Oh, going straight into it? Yes. yes. Eat him up. Sauron, Statistic Thief takes game one. Claims the first conquered land and... So this probably won't come up, but it might. By winning and getting a lot of points, he gets more followers. It's more opportunities for him to eat the little humans on the ground. And you do recover health for eating a human. Yep, every character in the game has a specific input to eat your followers if you want. And you can get you know, health back from eating them. It kind of varies depending on the actual follower on the screen. Too. Yeah, I believe there are six different humans that you can eat. Yeah. like. Ideally, you get the fat guy. He heals a lot. He's oh, like 20% okay. health. Hey, we got a lot of meat on our bones. Yep. It's, a good, it's a good full meal. We got the Rampage. This is something that Tekken players are familiar with. Yep. If you are under 30% and your opponent has at least 80% health, you get a Rage Mode where you get a giant damage boost. Ooh, does Ooh, the good spinning anti -air spike the, ball, yeah. Yeah, good anti-air with the ball. Harambe for Harambe, Ray. taking a round there after getting swept 2-0 by Statistic Steve in the first game there, using the fireball. Yeah, Characters Sora? have quite, there's a lot of special moves per character in this yeah, game Yeah, everybody as well. has at least six, if I'm... Yeah. And oh, wow, Antier the stomp. And going back over of how the uh, controls of this game originally originated, uh, it was all negative edge based. You had to hold a set number of buttons, input the motion, and then release, which was very weird for a lot of people. I mean, negative edge is a common term nowadays in a lot of fighting games where yeah. it's it's a te technique used, but 
It was a game back where, then. Yeah, it was the only way to input the special moves. The designers at the time kind of implemented it as they thought an easier way for people to button mash and get special yeah. moves on accident, which actually kind of made it easier and harder to get special moves at the same time. Yep, I remember as a kid being super frustrated because I thought you input it Street Fighter style. <laughs> exactly, and I grew up playing this, just the Super Nintendo version is what I grew up playing, which came out about a year later after the arcade. Oh, gets a stun, he could kill? Oh no, the, he got Ooh. rage mode. Yep, as you can see, every character has a different name that flashes on the screen for their mode once they get into it. When they when it happens, they wake up and they have an in, invulnerable animation. Nice poking yep. there from Steve. And he takes it. 2-1, moving into winner's finals. This is Harambe's punishment for not playing one of the monkeys. I, I was a little disappointed. That he's got Harambe in the name, and he's for Harambe. But... Shout out to him. He's yeah. going to move on into the loser's bracket. Yeah, Sadistic he, Steve moves into the winner's finals. He has more opportunities to give us monkeys. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm not asking for much. I just want to see one of the great apes on the screen. As I said, there's, once again, like going over all these things, because this was a game developed by people that really didn't know fighting games. It was like yeah, their they were first. Coming in new. They were coming in new. It was their first fighting game. So. There was a lot of fresh ideas that didn't kind of follow the trend of yeah. Street Fighter 2, etc. Which, I mean, thank God, because a lot of those ideas we can we use now. I, like, exactly. modern games use a lot yeah. of this now. Comboable air throws and things like that. Yeah. Uh, universal overhead. Yep. Every character in the game has a universal overhead. And some characters, like Blizzard, for example, has a ridiculous 50-50 mix-up using oh, God, that into so his good. ice pillar or going into a low. Which yep. I'm hoping we get to see some Blizzard. That's my favorite character. As a kid, Blizzard. I used to just mash on my SNES pad with the, the top two buttons, which would give me the back fist. Okay. And I would just, every once in a while, do a combo randomly that would make the screen flash, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Odd. I played Blizzard 2 when I was a kid. I just thought the, just a cool the character. geyser, the ice geyser, yeah, exactly. was really cool looking. But, oh, there we go. One half of the condiment duo. Mustard is going to be coming up against Dacid Bro. In uh, the other side of the winner's bracket. I mean, two guys with a fair amount of experience in fighting games in general. Exactly. They've been around the block. And uh, if you're on YouTube, they put out a very good video, uh, even talking Great. with some of the developers of the history of this game. It's really fascinating. Like, they were just trying so many things because, I mean, like we were talking about, they weren't coming from Great. a traditional fighting it, game yeah. background, so they were just kind of throwing ideas out there and seeing just based on what they thought was cool. Exactly. Now, I, I watched uh, Ketchup uh, playing uh, just, you know, some warm-ups earlier against one of the other top eight uh, competitors, Kadok Strike, and he was using Vertigo. Okay. I'm um, Vertigo is generally considered the best character in this version of the game. Yep. Uh, she's got just really good... I mean, she's Dalsim, but with real combos. Yeah, Dalsim uh, with reach, combos, fireballs, teleports. Yep. And she's also got a uh, scorpion-style harpoon. Oh, yeah. So that's what allows her to poke into the big damage combos. Mm -hmm. And a lot but of these characters that have, I think Vertigo has two stun moves, similar yes. to like uh, Blizzard that has two freeze mechanic moves. But in this game, there is a cheese uh, cheese protection, as they call it. Every yep. once in a while, if you see a giant block of cheese appear on the screen, that is the built-in infinite protection system, which, for the most part, works. In yeah. This. Uh, like, I know in one of the older versions, it while it worked, it didn't actually stop effective infinites. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was still, like, 100% in infinites, but you couldn't... The, the general rule was you couldn't, like, repeat special moves in a combo yeah. or, like... Can't which do two is, stuns in yeah. a combo, can't do a move into an unblockable. Like, oh, if man, you're all, we're going right into oh, it here. Oh, going in? Yep, Sauron. Oh, Sauron and Armadon Sauron. again. Yeah. We're getting the same matchup again, but much more aggressive this time. So, Sauron, definitely a brawler type character in this game. Has a good fireball, does a lot of damage, has good yeah. reach, good buttons. Yeah, the, the big reach is his real selling point. Like, yep. well, that and his bone crushing uppercut. And Armadon, basically kind of the jack of all trades character in this game, has fireballs, has a good, you know, anti-air DP, has the like, the Blanca ball almost rolling yeah. move. And hilariously, Blanca ball also works as a good anti-air. Yeah, exactly. It, like some. Ooh, the nice. Confirm. Yeah. 
That was a long range confirm. I didn't think he was close enough to get the head crush. Clutch too, it kind of came back that round there. Good stuff from Mustard taking round one. Nice. Yeah, that super jump uh, quick attack, the little legs kick. Oh, good combo. So Dassel good at catching other jumpers. And I love, kind of almost like, it kind of reminds me of a lot of Midway games at the time, like the funny little messages in terms, kind of like Killer Instinct, which yeah. came out around the exact same time as this game, has the named combos. Yep. Yeah, if you do specific combos, it, you'll get a name for it. And some of them are nice little Easter eggs for like different yep. playtesters <laughs> yep, or exactly. designers. Oh, almost got the double overhead. Oh, nice there from Dassin, bro. These have been incredibly close right. matches. Yeah, yeah they, these have gone down to basically no life each. There's yeah. the jump in, but doesn't yep. get the combo follow-up. I said those double jump ins are really strong in this game. Yeah, if you can get the jump in into short hop jump, yep. it's so hard. You just kind of have to guess because they could also just go low. It's so fast. Oh, oh gets the double, but doesn't get the follow-up on the ground. Oh, oh, could have gotten a much better punish on the Armadon. whipped uppercut. Yeah, Armadon, just one little poke will take it from Mustard here. Yeah, you can see his heart going nuts. Ooh, just That's keeps going over. Rushing oh. down here, and uh, yep, got the little snout peck there to take the game. Good stuff. Sigh of relief from Mustard there. <laughs> like, it was very scary. Like, one more good hit, and Mustard would have been done for, too. Like, yeah, I said, I said one, one, if he would have ate a jump in there, but good Ray. defense from him. Game two here. And this is a game where good defense will really get you a long way because you cannot get, while there is chip damage, you can't get chip killed outside of a bug, but hopefully that doesn't come out. Yeah. Good, confirmed there once again from Dasa Pro, getting a three hit combo. Jump in. Nice. Couldn't get the follow up, yeah. but. I think you don't see a ton of normal throws in this game. You see that air throw. Yeah, the quite air throws often are very good. From but Sauron. Ground throws, even the command grabs aren't nice. great because there's a long whiff animation. Yep. And teching them is kind of hard too, isn't it? Like yeah. It's kind of like a weird, it's, it's tough to tech the throws normally. It, it, you can't really do it on reaction. You just yeah. kind of had to have already been doing the tech. Yep. But the reward for a Oops, throw nice. honestly isn't super high anyways. Good so. stuff from Dassin, bro. Again there. Ooh, baited. Got Gets the it punish. this time. And, oh, oh no follow-up. Yeah, That's it's good. hard to get the follow-up juggle on that. Oh, Mustard with a heck of a combo there. Six hit. Oh, good anti-air to stop this hop. That's some KOF gameplay coming. Snout poking each other, both these yep. characters using their noses. Oh, Rampage. Yep, yep, wakes up and vulnerable. Good blocks. Oh, almost got the jump in. Chomping away here, using those tiny little tiny little legs and arms, but that big tail and nose can really reach. Gets, oh, Ooh, nice block. Time is running out, but. Yeah, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Dancing yeah. is going to take this game. Yeah, Mustard, I mean, if he would have gotten a hit, Soren is one of the characters with a really big damage bonus yeah. in oh, yeah. rage mode. But yeah, so uh, you were show you were telling me earlier, each character, when they go into rage mode, they get a damage boost, but it's not the same for every character. Yeah, Soren is one of the ones with a better one. I believe it was 40%. Yeah, you said like 40 or 50. Yeah. Uh, but like Chaos, for example, gets like 80-something percent. Yeah, it's Chaos crazy. hits like a Mack truck. And, and he's he already, already hits yeah, hard. Yeah, and he already has some of the longest combos in the game, along with Blizzard. Yeah. Yeah, both of the apes. Nice conversion. Dacid, bro, once again. Yeah, he hit the reverse Blanca ball there. Tough block. Well, armadillo ball. Yeah. Big life lead here. Yeah, back in the rampage. Wakes up, yep, in the rampage. Oh, Once again. the cross up almost killed him. Yeah, and just poked yeah, out. Takes the jump in again. That's it, bro. On match point, trying to make his way into winner's finals. Yeah, Dasibro has really been kind of abusing the attack priority in this and being able to beat a lot of Mustard's jump attacks, just knowing which button he's going to be pressing to jump in with. It's again, pretty even here. Gets the jump crossover, but nice punish. Uh, Mustard is one hit away. 
life lead pretty built up here. A couple yep. pokes. Yeah, Fireball really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. There's back, that. Yep, back into Samadhi. Samadhi, wake up. That's his name of his rage mode. Yeah, everyone gets a different name, but the effects are virtually identical. It's just the good amount round. of the damage bonus. Yeah, good round there from Mustard, and we are tied up here. Last round, last game here to make it into winner's finals. Buster starting off early here, poking away. Nice jump in from Dasengro. It's always fun watching how people use the extraordinarily long range of the pokes that you get access to in this game. Yep. Oh, oh, oh what nice a conversion. Combo. Yep, didn't get the uh, the Dragon Punch follow-up, I think. Yeah, I don't think he was able to get the... I think it's a Tiger Knee motion for his yeah, Dragon Punch. Yeah, I, I believe so. Lifely yeah. chipping away here. She do do Just chip poking. damage with normals. Yeah, normals do. Similar to like Mortal Kombat series. Oh, Ooh. gets the throw. Fireball. Yeah, I believe that was over. his command grab. Yeah, I think they, yeah, characters have command throws as well. And that does, oh, it. does it. Mustard takes it 2 1 over Dacid Bro. Dacid Bro goes into the loser's bracket. Mustard will be in the winner's finals against Sadistic Steve here a little bit later. On the loser side, uh, we have Joe P. Real, Ketchup, Azaxa, and Chaotic Strike, who I saw using Chaos as well, uh, warming up with uh, Ketchup off stream. And as gross as he is, Chaos is so much fun to watch. Oh, like, yeah. The actual way that you play Chaos is like this really. It's very appropriate. It's kind of a controlled Chaos where you're just kind of pushing a lot of buttons. Yep. And. You just need to be aware of what you're pressing all the time. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, while he does have ex extra long arms, that also means you're putting a really long hurt box out there. And that is the downside to both of the apes is yep, right. a lot of their limbs are higher up. Because like a lot of the tail strikes that you see travel low to the ground. Yeah. So it's hard to whiff punish those. And we'll see some vertigo here pretty soon. That yeah. She has such a tiny crouching hitbox. Yes. And she could reach half screen with all of her tail pike and just harass you. Yeah, you get hit by that down three out of Vertigo, and she can confirm into her harpoon mm -hmm. and just get a full combo, and that's like 25% of your health gone at least, depending so on where she's hitting. So if you haven't noticed, this game only has seven characters. Uh, yes. two, two of them are palette swaps, although they have very vastly different special moves and play styles for the most part uh, the, the two the two monkeys play kind of close kinda to each close, other but but different uh, different goals yeah uh, sauron and diablo however play quite different from each yeah, other yeah they are wildly different like diablo is probably the closest to like a dedicated zoner yeah because he's got uh some of the two, best fireballs yeah he's got yeah. he's got a really good fireball he has i think his ground pound is hits low, if I remember right. Yeah, I think so. Um, and then he's got a flash kick. Like, yep. you can play him very similar to how you would play a Guile or a Remy or what have you. Uh, and he does actually, much like his other T-Rex counterpart, he does hit really hard. Yep. And then from then we have Armadon, the, uh, what is it, Stegosaurus or Tr yeah. whatever combo of... Dinosaur yeah. he is. Uh, rounded out then by Talon, which I don't know if we'll see a Talon in top eight. Yeah, Talon is very hard to play because he's very, very aggressive, but doesn't actually deal that much damage. Yeah, it's the small, fast rushdown character. Gets the tiniest damage boost in the rage mode. Yeah. Uh, doesn't really have fantastic mix-up ability either. No, like the... He doesn't have a lot of ways to, like, but make you guess. Just the speed. He's yeah. the, the fastest character in the game. Oh, oh, we are Speak of the devil. Talon on screen. Here we go. Yeah, so that, that head it. flip is his best move. Yep. And he, well, he does also have the fastest uh, nice human eat animation in the game. Oh, so okay. So he might, you know, we haven't might seen be able to do it, it yeah, in neutral. We haven't seen it used too much yet. I mean, with the speed of this game, it's sometimes very tough to get it in. Yeah, usually you only get it if you manage a stun. But yeah, exactly. Got a strike here, down on life. But Sauron can do a ton of damage really quickly. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a Saxa hit like 
probably gotten like 10 hits already. Exactly. And hasn't done that much. Sauron has done about four hits and has done about as much damage. Nice jump in there. And now I actually taste the life with what that a button. grab! Yes, it's the grab, but it doesn't do any enough. Is it oh, going to do it? follow up yes. grab, yeah. That does enough. Round one. Really good. It's actually showing that talent means business here. It got him nervous. He was pressing so many attacks that he got him scared and got the two throws. So Talon looks like he has one of their highest super jumps, too. Just oh, really yeah. Really takes to the skies. Ooh. That walk speed so fast. Yeah. Like, it looks like a dash in another game. <laughs> oh, nice oh, conversion. Oh, couldn't oh, get it. Didn't get the sweep into it, I think. Couldn't get the full punish on the DP whip, but... And like I said, that yeah. damage from Sauron, that just it's just so much higher. The three hit little Ready. snout combo there with the little bites does about 16, 17% every single time. And the range of it is really good. Yep. Again, like Talon, the game plan is mostly going to be taken to the air just because yeah. that ball Very stomp is here. so good. Ooh, exactly. good anti half life lead here. Oh, the oh. double slide is not actually oh, safe. Oh, nice punish on that. Ooh, get the rampage. Rampage. Oh, the throw. Oh, walk up throw. One more throw. One more hit. Nope, no throw there. Nice. Oh, oh, he missed no. the sweep again. And that does it for round one. Is Axa? Is he get it? Is he get the? Uh, yes. Yep. Here we go. Get Slice the tornado. And nice. Tornado him up. Shout outs to handmade, modeled graphics, animation. This is all claymation basically done. Yep. Back in the day when you could do claymation fighting games, this and Clay Fighter. <laughs> this and Clay Fighter, this, and then my favorite clay game of all time, The Neverhood, if you ever play a point-and-click oh game. God. That's I'm, a throwback. I love the music in that game so much. Oh, yeah, such a great. All right, going right back in. But that's probably another reason why there was only seven characters in yeah. this game. I mean, they did have plans for more and just ran out of time. Yeah. I mean, as evidence, there is a Primal Rage 2, which oh. was never actually completed. Rage? Yeah, yeah uh, shout outs to uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade here and Doc Mac for first of all donating this board that we got working here. Yes. And then uh, Paradise Arcade getting this board the proper power. They basically created a custom gem <laughs> solution to get the board the correct power to, to get this running. So shout outs to both of them. Yeah, we would not be here right now if it wasn't for all of their work. I said, it is not easy getting these old arcade games on stream like this. Oh, no, with the perfect? Perfect, chaotic strike. Two rounds so quickly, I couldn't even finish that story. <laughs> yeah, Talon got his rage, but it didn't matter. Wasn't even able to land a touch. We are one conquered land away from conquering all of Earth. I just, oh, I love, I love to this. Vertigo. Oh, Vertigo, here we go. First time we've seen Vertigo here in top eight. Yep. I mean, her, her downside is her normals are fairly slow, so if you can get in on her, yep. she has some trouble, but she definitely, can poke from so far. Yeah, definitely the longest range character in the game. Also, there we go. <laughs> also the causes the most slowdowns. I, I swear her attacks cause all the, the most amount of blood to show up on the screen. Oh my god, just walk up unblockable. Oh. Going to fireball. Teleport! Stays. Nice block in. Oh, good okay. teleport to get out. Oh, gets Here the jump go. over. Doesn't oh. get the combo follow up. Chaotic has been missing the yeah, I headbutt. I think they're trying. I think he needs to do the sweep into the headbutt to get the juggle properly. Just maybe doing it a little yeah. too early. Like I said, depending on if he's doing the proper way of releasing the buttons, it's tricky. Yeah. Like if, if he's used to doing it the old style where you have to make it of edge, it can be really hard Ooh. to get some of these combos. Nice Ooh, good anti air. Yeah, take him out of the air. Oh, got the stun. Oh, no. missed the double overhead. Huge life lead here, though. Can just kind of harass yep. him here. There's that going into rabbit. Oh, 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 he woke up with. That was smart. Just what wake up with the spell on him again. You can jump that. That's a command grab yeah. for all intents and purposes. Oh, just DP. Ooh, the headbutt takes it. We're not taking any more of your BS. <laughs> no. We are just going to DP. No more respect. Nice. Uses that teleport to get to the other side. Ooh, Ooh. tried to meet him yeah, in the air. Yeah, tried to meet him. And there it is again. Finishes it with the stab. Oh, what a bait. Nice. Easy little quick damage combo there, 24%. Just the jump in, but no conversion. 
Oh, here's the Rampage. Zach's a big life lead, yeah. But ra Rampage now here for Chaotic Strike. Got to fight for his life here in Losers. I mean, he finds a hit, and he can even it oh, up real quick. Just oh, like you corner said, combo. there he gets the combo. 55% there. There's the screen, our first screen shake. The flashing when you get those big damage combos. Oh, this could be anybody's game. Gets the jump in again. Anybody's game. Oh, oh the Zaxxon with so the jump close. in. One touch away. One second. What is it going to be? Oh, sudden, sudden death. death. <laughs> the meteors are falling. Earth is falling. Bucket Show light. me the aggressive. Look at the meteors. Here we go. Zaxxon, though, the life is just draining slowly. And oh. that's going to take it. Chaotic Strike, what an epic finish. I'm so glad we got to see the sudden death. I it's am so, so rare. <laughs> yeah, that is so rare. Like, that was incredible. Because when you get into sudden death, you may have noticed your life just drains. Yeah, it like, starts just draining slowly like you're poison because yeah. all the meteors are falling. Earth is, like, is getting blown up again. Yeah. I don't know why they bother putting time back on the clock when <laughs> sudden death starts because somebody is going to die. Exactly. That was fantastic, though. Shoutouts to Azak Azaxa and Chaotic Strike for putting on a great match there. We're going to move yeah. on to the next Losers Top 8 match. Uh, we're going to have Joe P. Real against the other condiment, Ketchup, yes. coming up here. Looking forward to, uh, I, I don't know, how many different yeah. characters they might use. I know they were using Vertigo yeah. warming yeah, up. Yeah, I saw so. Vertigo, and I mean... You know, she's top tier, so. And he was doing really good use of the hyper hop mechanic. Like I said, there's three different types of jumps in this game, and using the long range normals, it was almost like a vertical dive kick. Going yeah. On. And, like, her pokes, a lot of her, as long as you hit her jump ins low, they're really plus. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And that gives you the opportunity to make them guess on am I going to do the voodoo command grab? Oh, yep. Or do I just go low? Or do I just let you jump and anti-air you? Because <laughs> yeah. that works too. Like, she can get decent damage off her anti-air. But we'll see. Uh, get their buttons set up here right now. Once again, we got Joe Joe P. Real going to be on the one-player side going up against Ketchum. Both here, uh, I saw them uh, both playing, uh, I think Mustard earlier was in his uh, playing Mortal Kombat on the stream just to the yeah, left here. Yeah, I saw him a few minutes ago. Both playing and commentating this weekend. I'm sure they're going to be doing quite a lot of Mortal Kombat later as well. I certainly hope so. I would, I enjoy listening to them work. I still can't get over this, <laughs> this ancient arcade board we got sitting up there. I hope we can get a shot of that on stream again. And the very new, you see how old it is compared to how new the little, yeah. the little uh, extension that Paradise Arcade created yeah, it, it basically they cut literally part of the board out to get it to work as well yep. all of the vertigo mirrors oh here we go vertigo Ooh. vertigo see yeah she's got that her fireball is not actually that great yeah, it doesn't really do much damage there's but. that quick hop big damage gets Ooh. the jungle follow up after the teleport 10 hits God, yeah 35 percent just off random hit oh good Response, is it, teleport is on it teleport. Is 40% when you start getting the lightning damage? Uh, it, it's around some that, of it depends yeah. on the character because you also need to get certain uh, style of combo. Yeah, that's right as well. Nice little conversion here. Joe P. Real is using the blue vertigo. Ketchup is <laughs> ironically yeah, almost the mustard, the mustard colored. I don't think there is. Oh my gosh, oh, we got God, teleports somebody. going around like crazy. Life lead is so low right now. Are we going to get another sudden death? No. Oh, so very close, but catch up. Catch up. Clutches around with two seconds left. Yeah, because if Joe would have gotten one more hit, even on a block, it probably would have forced a sudden death there. That's the pull in. Like I said, there's one of those grab kind of come over here. Yeah, there we go. Getting that super hop from Joe. So Vertigo in this game is an alien, I believe, from outer space. I don't actually remember her I, lore. I, it's something weird like that. The other ones are like ancient beings that have woken up after the Earth was destroyed. Yeah. 
And now all the humans that are alive are forced to, if they want to live, you gotta pick one of these to worship. Yep. You pick your side and you hope he wins. Yeah. Vertigo, I think, is the big bad of the game, I think, in terms uh, of the, the boss or the enemy, like. There was intended to be an actual another I boss. I think so too, but was, I don't think it made it into the game. It's not in the game, but there is code in the game for a dinosaur called the God of Death. Ah. But we don't have any actual release information on them other than what people have been able to glean from the code. So all we have is the Great. name, really. Yep. Catch up with the first game victory here. Once again, he's using the yellow. Gets the jump in off the teleport. Oh, oh big combo. Hop. Ends it early there. 30% though. I said Vertigo's yeah. combos don't do a ton of damage, but they are very easy to link together like they max range, pull them in, get the stab. Yeah, because anytime any one of her combos, you either get the stab just as a knockdown ender, or if they're close enough, you get to use the harpoon and pull them in for the big damage. Yep. Looking away here. Ooh, went for the unblockable. Yeah, try, oh, oh there we this go. This time he gets it. Oh, oh he used it. So no that's cheese, a cheese for you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, if you try and use a command grab or any unblockable when they're in block stun, <laughs> you just lose. Catch up hit him with the uh, no, no, no. Waving the finger. No cheese for you. Oh, that end here hit behind her head. Playing patient. And there's the teleports. That's the thing about Vertigo. She just doesn't need to play nearly as patient in oh, yeah. the mirror match. because Immediately just, can just be on top of you. Yeah. Or right in the behind you. And you are able to control where you teleport to. Like, you hold the stick on which side oh. to decide on which if you want to be cross-up or same side. Don't be real. Getting the fireball. Oh, Ooh, eight, we did yeah, get an eating. There's an eating. Finally got a follower there. Going into rabid mode. The rampage. Oh, and once yeah. again, catch up with a huge life lead here. Just needs a few pokes to seal the deal. Vertigo doesn't have the worst. And there's the air to air, yep. Shrink him down, eat him up. Kind of disappointed he didn't go for the moo cow. There is it. she does have a <laughs> fatality <laughs> yeah. that turns the opponent into a cow. And then, if I remember right, they are actually butchered by McDonald's. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ketchup moves on in the loser's bracket of Primal Rage. We are here. This is almost 30 years later after this game came out. 1997? 1994. 94. Jeez. I said, like I said, this game had some concepts that... Kind of like uh, Weapon Lord on Super Nintendo that yeah. had a lot of mechanics that were way a ahead of, of its ideas. time in fighting games that some people, I think, a lot of games kind of probably might have noticed at the yeah, time. Yeah, somebody probably got ideas even subconsciously. Right. Like, just see this game in the arcade and some of those ideas just kind of stick with you. I said, it, it's still kind of on the obscure level of fighting games, but I feel like Primal Rage is a game that everyone remembers. Yeah, like, it's one of those games that it's so, I mean, the sound design is just so good that if you walked into, into an arcade, you probably heard this yeah. and went to go, what the heck am I hearing? It's definitely one of the most unique games. All right, we are going to step aside for one moment so you, we can give a thanks, thank you to all the folks that allow us to run Combo Breaker and bring all these games to you. Yep, we'll we be will right be back. right back. You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more Combo Breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing on with Primal Rage Top 8 action. Once again, I am Humbag here with Alex P. How are you doing tonight? I've been having so much fun. This is this is a blast from the past for me. Uh, this is I'm, I'm trying to find like high level gameplay and, and footage of this. There's some uh, dedicated people out, I think in Venezuela, yeah. grinding this game out. I've, been, I've come across their YouTube channel. I said ketchup and mustard both have been putting out a lot of content recently on their channel as well, detailing yep. the history of the game. It's uh, just so hard because this was really free internet age. It, I mean, it, it was, yeah. And it's it's kind of a not necessarily undiscovered game, but it's just 
actual footage besides a few combo videos is pretty rare. Yeah, like most of what you can find, if you just like look this up on YouTube, you will find stuff from SNES or Genesis. Exactly. You're not going to find a lot of arcade footage. Like it just not existent. We didn't have GoPros back Whoa. then. And like we said, we are Whoa, continuing right on Loser's Quarters. Chaotic Strike doing some chaotic combos against Harambe for Harambe. He had switched from, uh, I believe, Sauron earlier, now using Talon against Armadon. I, I guess I can sort of see it if you think you are able to overwhelm their defense and not let the... Ooh, big hitbox on that yeah. fire. Oh, yeah, using the spikes. Really good fireball. Good it, stuff. It's chaotic. a much wider hitbox than it looks like yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. Get this, gets the jump in. Oh, Waking Samani. up, yep. Oh, Misses blocks. it, yeah, yeah. nice. It's the jump in. Yeah, that short hop is just doing work. So quickly. And game one, Chaotic Strike. Quickly using the impressive speed from Talon. I yeah. saw uh, earlier when he was just kind of playing by himself, it was doing some arcade run-throughs on the, on the setup over there with Talon, just showing me off some combos. I'm like, all right, all right. Talon does have cool looking Great. combos. Yeah. And he also, he does have like a 60% damage combo on the corner, yep. but that almost never happens because you're running around too fast with talent. You have to cross up. <laughs> Jump in, combos oh, in, no got cheese. The cheese. Oh, it still hits. Active hitbox galore. Oh, that head stomp, so good. Gets a stun. The skull slicer. Stun. Oh, no, oh, no that was Samadhi. Yeah. I couldn't tell because the way you tell when somebody is entering rage mode is their brain rage. will start getting electricity like they were getting stunned. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it kind of looks weird, but the bar is still there. Yeah. That was thrown off oh, because oh. he had, oh, God, just so much pressure. 10 hit, 38%. Screen's going crazy. This is that, oh, nice. yeah, that back drop, you know, spike drop. Makes a really disgusting noise when it lands, too. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, the sound design is just so good in this game. Just very oppressive gameplay. Chaotic Strike takes it for straight. Oh, that rounds. was just so yeah, fast. Yeah, that like, was really quickly. He gave up two no cheeses trying to do multiple slides in a combo, and it just didn't matter. Chaotic Strike moves on to loser semifinals. I think we're going to have Dacid Bro coming up against Ketchup here in a moment. Looking forward to seeing this. Yep. Bro Basically was the other using, half of yeah. the condiment duo. Yeah, trying to uh, find their way into grand finals against each other. That would be uh, quite a story if we get to that point. But he's got to go through Dacid Bro, who uh, came out of uh, winners losing to Muster. Yeah. In a pretty close game, no, too. That, yeah. that was a nail biter. It was extremely close. Uh, Dacid was using Armadon at the time. I imagine we'll still be using Armadon. Yeah, I mean, like, Armadon is a good, just general purpose. If you don't know who you want to pick, just pick Armadon. He's the Ryu of the game, yeah. for all intents and purposes. Pretty, pretty basic, you know, easy to understand normals, combos, yeah. specials. As we say, it, it, this, it, the gameplay is very strange in its own right. Like, yeah. It's still not like you're going to pick it up and I'm going to go do a low forward into a fireball. Yeah, on that command. doesn't <laughs> exist. Uh, and, like, you need to worry because there's a the game has a very, very weird priority system. So you've got three attacks. Mm -hmm. Quick, fierce, and powerful, I believe, are the names. Yeah. And instead of it being, you know, like, in third strike, you have a progression. A medium beats a light, a yep. heavy beats a medium, and so on and so forth. In this, it's rock, paper, scissors. Quick beats powerful, but loses to fierce. Okay. Fierce loses to powerful. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's just, it's a circle. So <laughs> it makes it, a lot of the neutral gets really weird because you kind of also need to be reading what your opponent is going to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then if you do the same strength, you just train. But, you oh, know. yeah. Which really doesn't, I've never even seen it happen yet. Yeah, like, usually, usually you I mean, there's so much air-to-air -air interaction. That's why I said. This game almost has, like, an a, a air dasher mentality because yeah. of how strong those double air chains are. No kidding. Like, a lot of this stuff is the kind of things that you would see in, like, a Melty Blood. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's actually not too you far You see, off. like, people do an air dash and just do like falling A's, well, it's kind of like that in this where you do short hop, 
into Falling Light and then do instant overhead or another short hop. I think they're getting their buttons situated. Yep, making sure everything is working. Always important when you've got these arcade boards. I said shout outs once again, Paradise Arcade. Getting these setups, these, this, being able to plug your own USB stick in and play on original arcade on these CRT TVs, these yep. monitors, it's so cool. Really just changes the game. It's, it's, we've kind of come full circle of how tournaments started using the arcades, then we all switched to console versions of these games, and now once again, now that people have kind of cracked arcade hardware to get these consoleized setups, yep. we're back to playing the original versions of these games. And I, that was my first question. I'm like, what version of this are we using? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember as soon as we got the news that this was coming, I was like, so are are we doing the arcade version? Because we can't, like, you can't play an emulated version of it that yeah. doesn't exist. We could play the console versions, yeah. but they're not quite the same. They said you got the. The most played console versions are both the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Yeah. They both have, they have their own issues. They have their own issues. And then there's the uh, like the versions that appeared on collections that have yeah. their own issues. Yeah, they have the collection ones all have horrible input lag. Oh, uh, okay. It is atrocious. <laughs> like I forget one of them had like six frames of input lag. It was painful to uh. try. That would definitely take like, some time to get used to. For this sure. game is, can be awkward enough with the negative edge inputs. Yep. Yep. But have, throwing the extra input leg on top of it, and especially in a game this fast, like you move quick, you attack quick in this game. All right, here we are. We're ready. Dacid Bro on the player one side, rocking the Armadon. Catch up using that yellow vertigo once again. That's nice, a good really combo. Yeah. Yeah. jump in. Oh, there's that overhead. I think that back little tail swipe is the uh, universal overhead. Yeah, that's her universal overhead. Ooh, good air to air. Getting the poke with the quick. Ah, that yes, medium unblockable. Ooh, but drop the combo. There's that quick hop. Oh, yep. little out of oh, range good there. Good punish. Good follow up. Gets the damage. The only problem is that a lot of Armadon's combos launch to your opponent full screen. Yeah. And that is really unfortunate against Vertigo. Like, her range is just so much better than Armadon. And, like, projectile zoning is fairly decent in this game, but projectiles themselves really don't do a whole lot of damage. No. On like, there are a couple of, like, Diabolus does decent damage. Yeah. He's one of the few that can be a dedicated zoner. And even then, you don't want to zone versus Vertigo. Like, cool. she just teleports behind you and you eat it. We tried to use away, the armor yeah. spikes to so really poke, long range pokes. Yep. Ooh, good. Got the anti air to stop the teleport. Yep, keeping it basic. Just kind of keeping them out with that series. Oh, with wow. Quick 19 to 20% every single time. Hitting with the overhead, though. Like, this is still a very close match. Oh, oh there's, there's the, the jump, jump in. Yep, gets it. Catch up game one. And this game does allow post mortem combos. Yep. So Eats that, up. that was catch up styling a little bit. Did not need to keep going. The only thing is, projectiles no longer appear if you're doing a most post mortem combo. Oh, wow. That's interesting. It, just a really weird thing. But you can do whatever the heck else you want, so. Rage. There we go. Catch the air to air. Good combo there from Dacid Bro. Does a quick 35, 40%. Yeah. Gets like, the lightning. I mean, that's Armadon's big damage combo. It just kind of, it sucks because anytime you do the ball, it's going to launch them full screen. Yeah, exactly. And where exactly Vertigo wants to play most of the game as well. Yeah, she's just so long range. Just, ooh, ooh, nice. nice Took him out of the air, yeah. Ketchup was going for that quick hop. It was like we were saying earlier, it's hard to do a lot of hot pressure on Armadon because he has three different good anti-air options. Yep. But it's the trade again. Ketchup on match point here over Dacid, bro. Got to fight for his tournament life here in loser's quarters. It's the jump in off the teleport. Oh, gets him in. Oh, stayed oh, on the stay, ground. Yeah, stays in front. Maybe he's trying to bait a uh, trying to bait, Yeah. Gets the stun. 
Oh, here's the rage. Yep. But yeah, as long as you time that voodoo right, there's nothing you can really do. Wow, total domination with the perfect catch-up. Takes it. 2-0 Dacid Bros tournament is over. Shout outs to him. Good tournament run. But catch-up moves on. I and Dasa can't complain that much. He's still got his free burrito, so you know. Hey. Still doing okay. Shout outs to the Chipotle burritos. I'm hungry myself at the moment. Now, that sounds pretty good. I don't know about you, but uh, we've got our final four left in the tournament. And the winner's side Great. is Sadistic, Sadistic Steve. That is a tongue twister I know. to say. The as alliteration well as, <laughs> is hard. As well as PND <laughs> Mustard. And then on the loser's side, we just saw Ketchup defeat Dasid Bro. And the semifinal is going to be Ketchup versus Chaotic Strike, who's been uh, featuring a few different characters. Yeah, been traveling around the entire Earth, getting all the different masters of the different regions. Yeah, and it's like, Earth with a U. It's yes. U R T H. It's Earth. So this this is an alternate timeline. We had a super advanced civilization. That's why you see those massive skyscrapers in the backs of the buildings, and then the meteors came. And it all went to hell. And the big guys came out of the earth. Literally went to hell in the case of Diablo's region. Yeah, exactly. He's kind of a interesting guy. Yeah. yeah. I said, I, I believe, like, Blizzard is the good, Blizzard? like, heroic Blizzard wisdom. is one of the good guys. Uh, Armadon is also a good guy. Yep. And... Both dinosaurs I thought are bad, but I could be wrong. Or maybe uh, Diablo's the... Diablo is, like, straight right. evil. Yeah. Because he is the god of evil. Exactly. Uh, Sauron is only interested in maintaining his immortality. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what he's actually the god of. I just remember that that's his story. <laughs> um, Talon is only concerned with keeping their... Their like, troop or their pride. Yeah, their pride of know. Velociraptors around. I think I think Talon is considered good-ish, I believe. Yeah. But Talon just wants to, you know, be fat and happy. I think his win is win page is just him laying back, being <laughs> fat and happy. Like, all right, I'm a, I'm a fat Velociraptor now. What am I going to do? Yep. And then the other ape, Chaos, is just in the middle. Like, yeah, Chaos just kind of crazy, farts and pukes, you know, yep. whatever. Parties too much. I, guess, I think that's it. I think Chaos is just the party animal. Chaos just, is Bacchus, but, you know. He's going around, you know, reliving his college years maybe too much still. Just going out there. having a good time. But, yeah, there's Shadow. Yeah, check out that board. That thing, that thing oh. is a power hog. If you see that blue and green extra section there, that is what they had to custom. Basically, it is a prototype they built in order yeah. to get the power to use this correctly. So shout outs to Paradise Arcade Shop, Working Magic, and shout outs to Doc at Galloping Ghost Arcade. That is the board they donated after yep. we've had. Like I said, these these boards are not easy to come by anymore. Yeah, there's just not many of them out in the world. That's been part of the problem with emulation is that there's so few of them. We can't afford to experiment yeah. on them. And, and from what I understand, it is one of the hard. It's like almost impossible to like to actually get yes. a ROM hack because they the included board. a lot of anti-theft yeah. tech in it. So if you try and copy a lot Are of you the they boards, anti-cheese in the <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> in is the board. actually there's in the board itself. There's so much anti-cheese protection. It's in the board itself. Yep. All right. Our next match coming yep. up here in a moment. Looks like they did their button check, so we're just getting the quick kill so that we can pick our characters, because arcade boards. I think we're going on to winner's finals here, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Sadistic Steve yep. going to be on the player one side once we get all their controllers set against Mustard. Looking forward to seeing this. I said Mustard's match against Dacid Bro earlier in winners, winners yeah. quarters is really exciting. Ooh, Sauron Mirror match. All right, I think we're going right into a Sauron Mirror match. Rage. Are we still testing buttons? Oh, ah, I guess yep, we're still, still testing. Test. All okay. Right. False alarm. Now, I thought we were seeing the Sauron Mirror. That's a very weird matchup. Because, <laughs> like, They've Honestly, got one of my first questions, because I just the nature of games like this, I'm like, wait, are beer matches allowed? And then I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I remember I remembered correctly. I, 
There was some like, uh, was it like Alpha 2 or something on Super Nintendo where you, like, you couldn't do a mirror match or yeah, something crazy are, like that? There are a couple of old games where you're not able to do mirror matches, including original Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, 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 original Street Fighter for sure. Combo oh. exhibition time. Yep. For what it's worth, the Sauron mirror match is one of the most miserable just because their colors are so similar. <laughs> you have to pay attention to the color of their stripes. <laughs> exactly. Once again here, we're going to be starting up here. We are at Combo Breaker 2023 at the Renaissance Schomburg Convention Center. How is everybody doing out there? Are you looking forward to some Primal Raids, Top 8? We are in Winner's Finals. We're going to have a 3 out of 5 match here. I'm looking forward to this. Get the countdown. We got dinosaurs. We got gorillas. We got them eating humans. Why not? So far, we have seen one human eat. Ready. I'm very <laughs> happy about that. I didn't think we would actually see one. Yep. Because every character's input for it is different also. Oh, we Ooh, got chaos. chaos. All right. We got some gorilla. We're going to see some farts and pukes, hopefully. Go right for the tackle right away. Yeah. Nice there we combo go. there, a little quick conversion from Mustard. Yeah, I mean, Sauron's little three-piece combos do so much damage. It oh, is yeah. a lot of damage for not a lot of work. Ooh, Ooh got nice the ground combo. Yeah, I got yeah. the ground pound into the combo juggle. There nice. we go. And the double, the double fierce. There's the fart. If you block it, you get stunned. If you get hit by that, you get stunned. Yeah, you can duck under it, but... Ooh, nice. gets a stun. So oh, just dead. Steve, yeah. All right. yeah. That was so much damage so quickly. Yeah, didn't even need that stun. Was able to kill without it. Ooh, <laughs> nice stop on the ground pound. Yep. Nice conversion there, Mustard, with that little five-piece combo. Oh, oh, get the head pound. Yeah. One of those is the universal overhead. I'm pretty sure that is the universal overhead there. Yes. Yeah. Man, the humans are really coming out to play here. Oh, yeah. that, that's the shouts you hear every once in a while. Only yep. one of the... Actual playable characters has a voice line that is a human-ish voice line. Once again, Statistic Steve getting those conversions into that shoulder tackle. Get oh, really and oh! the kill. Oh, just going to pee on him like that? Like Kanye? Oh, my goodness. One of the, uh, uh, so if you did have the Super Nintendo version of this game, that was censored out of it. Yes. Uh, I think it was censored out of a couple other different versions, but then there was like, the weird, like the Game Gear version still had it for some reason. <laughs> oh, that puke comes up quick. Yeah, the puke, I mean, there are two different speeds for it. If you do the slow puke, then you can do a follow-up on it, but it's kind of hard. Haven't seen it been using the uh, the little back fist extensions. You can get a couple back fists before you go into those uh, juggle tackles for a lot of damage. Might just be not sure if he's getting if he's at the right range to be getting the back fist correctly. He's keeping it simple. He's doing oh, there's the really big effective damage, 37%. Yeah, the monkeys hit really hard. They're fast and they do a lot of combos. Both Chaos and Blizzard are just combo machines. Yeah. Sadistic Steve here, gonna t trying to take a two games to nothing lead here if he wins this round. There's the fart cloud. Takes up a lot of space on the screen as well. Yeah, I'm not actually sure how big the hitbox is. It, relative to the fart. But you don't, you can't risk getting touched by it, so. Nice little quick combo there from Luster. Yep, the another 30%. 30. Rocket launcher. Ooh, saved by the fireball. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh stop the ground pound. Yeah, raw tackle. I like how as we're getting further in, people are respecting each other less and going for the wake up DPs. So. Yeah, exactly. Like, I know you're just gonna keep putting pressure on. Especially, in a, you know, and now that it's a three out of five situation, you can afford to take a few more gambles. That's true. Oh, again, the projectile stops the jump in. Nice stop on that. None of that combo, but he got all the damage just raw there. Yep. Oh, and there's a command grab. Again. Once again, I would tick, almost like a hey, tick throw to do it. Nice. Nice juggle follow up. It's very hard to do tick throws in this game, too. And he gets him stunned. Just a simple combo here. He's going to finish it with the throw. He's going to do it again. Oh, he's oh. got both. He does the somersault. <laughs> I don't know if that's stage specific or not. I think it might be, but. I, I don't actually know. 
I know that everybody gets three fatalities, but yeah. So yeah, the, the game when it first came out, everyone had two, and then one of the it was actually updates. this version, yeah, this was final it? version, they added, they added the third, the third one for everybody. But this is my favorite Steve stage. Here. Oh yeah, I love the stage. He's up two nothing here on mustard. Soron again out there. There's that Ooh, tackle. Yeah, it's that got shoulder a huge tackle. Hitbox. Yeah, like basically both side, both shoulders are a hurt box or hitbox on it. So nice quick juggle finish. That does such quick damage, 30%. Seeing a little slowdown, a little too much action going on. Rampage time. Oh, 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 that could have been. Got it. Yeah, that could have been huge damage. And oh, that's falls. slow. Yeah, yeah, falls on it. Throws out the cloud. Yeah, the slow fireball just, is so good for him. I just love that when he does it, he, he, he's got to get on both. He's got to go upside down to release that. He's got to really, really get some air on that. I mean, he's going up against dinosaurs. you got to make sure it gets up to him. Yeah, exactly. Insane. Yeah, insane in the membrane. Chaos, like we said earlier, he gets an 80% damage bonus right now. Yeah, that's... He hits like two trucks taped together. One hit here from Mustard will take this round. He needs it. Using that has long to be really range, patient. Yeah. yeah. Using his long reach advantage. Oh, he oh, dashes. It. It. Yeah, nice. does the shoulder right into the fireball. Good timing on that. Oof. Yeah. A sigh of relief there, possibly. Yeah, I mean, Steve was one jump in away from being able to kill with that damage bonus. Good chip damage there on that little sequence. Did quite a bit. About 10 oh, nice jump over. Yes, Ooh, got the ground got pound. Guy, yep, with the air throw follow up. Ooh, got the command grab in there too. So Soren's command there, grab yeah. does good damage too. Yeah, I think it's one of the highest. Besides the ones you can combo after. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right back at you. Throwing the puke to put up the screen. Allows him to get that tackle in. Oh, Ooh, just didn't barely get. caught. Oh, oh got over. Yeah, went Almost over the, there. Oh, no respect. UTP. Oh, that was clutch. Mustard pulls one out. Mustard staying alive here. That was clutch. Yeah, for most Shotos, the angle on Sauron's DP feels so weird because it's just such a direct dive to the opposite upper corner. Yeah, pretty much. Covers a lot of ground. Yeah. It does allow you to YOLO with it a little more at the mid-range. Okay, sticking with Chaos. He was thinking really hard on yeah, who to play. Yeah, he took a moment there. Oh, good check on the shoulder tackle again. Yep, nice quick little conversion there from Mustard, but Sinistic Steve right in there, gets the double follow-up. And Mustard's been doing... Oh, oh, stun, he should be able to no, finish No, this is Rampage. Here. Oh, Rampage, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, so he, I think if you get stunned, but if you get stunned into, into the rampage, rampage, you just wake up. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, Mustard kind of lucked out there that the combo kept going and knocked him into rampage instead of stunning him. Nice conversion there. He's going to wake up. Oh, oh missed time. No, it. he did miss time, but he's still alive here. Nice. He got he's it. Got the DP. <laughs> that did enough. Oh. Wow. And his rage ran out right when he exactly, got Exactly. Yeah. Like. Rage. That was a bit of luck on Mustard's part, but you know, we take those. Good conversion for Mustard, coming alive here. Rocket launcher. I guess he just needed two games to get in. Trading air to air here, putting the puke out, but using that tackle to get in. Good blocks here from Mustard. The tackle is just such a good movement tool. It's just yeah. so fast. Oh, got hit. Oh, that double fall just adds a big chunk every time. And oh, the good DP. Cut. Yeah. And yeah, just kind of whiffing buttons in his face because got the throw. Oh wow, just got caught. Again, Ooh, got he's caught just again, stood up yeah. into it. Like fortunately, Sauron's Hit fireball air, doesn't air. do much damage, yeah. but a mustard with a quick game two here. Eats his head off, basically. I love it. Two to two, winners, finals. Let's get hype here. Primal Rage. All right, does he stick with the chaos? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. He was using other characters earlier. Yeah, he's used a couple of different characters. And, I mean, like the first two games, he won so handily. Whoa. And then the second two. We got a Vertigo swap. One Thinking. second. We got oh, Vertigo. Going. 
rage. Already oh, teleporting. Nice. Yeah, took him out of the air with that. Big damage yeah. there. Quick 40%. Yeah, I kind of understand the switch because where he was losing a lot was oh. at the mid range. Got hit oh, but he's just again. right back into yeah. Rabbit. Got to avoid that last ground pound because of that vulnerability. Yep. Rushing Ooh, him down here. A little here. bit of help. Oh, but with Ooh. the. This might have been a questionable. This might have been a questionable choice here for Statistic Steve. Mustard is on. Match point to make it into grand finals here. Oh, that. That tail spike couldn't have been intentional. No. I think that was that negative edge getting killing you, which is one of the awkward things about the game. Yep. Since every special move is a negative edge. Good start here though from Oh, Steve's good teleport. Yeah. Oh, but missed the full completion. Like, needs to find a needs to find a teleport out of here. Yep, gets, there he gets goes. some space, but he I caught mean, him out of that again. Yeah. Honestly, still probably worth it just to get out of the corner. Oh, Great but right back in. But still a oh. life lead. One hit. A couple pokes here. Oh, yes. Man. Steve yeah, just ties it up. Mashing that down one. Just trying to get the final final touch. Final round right. here to determine who makes it into grand finals here. Good start from Mustard. Quick Big. 35%. It gets all that lightning. Ooh, good anti-air. Oh, oh, that did a chunk. Yeah, unfortunately, Steve is not finding the actual, like, damaging combos. He's getting a lot of pokes, but he can't actually get full completions. Buster gets the air to air, gets out of the corner here. Trying to get oh, there we go. Oh, gets caught. Oh, Doesn't no, get... dropped it again. This is looking bad here for Sadistic Steve. Super oh. rocket launcher. Mustard takes it. Going into grand finals. Takes it 3-2. to two. What a comeback after being down 2-0. Yeah, like, I was surprised when he switched off of Chaos. Like, yeah, I understand I, the logic, but it feels like his hands weren't fully warm to how you play Vertigo there. He was getting a couple of accidental tail spikes. and I mean, that move is a great combo ender, yeah. but... It has slow startup, and well, I mean, that's the killer. But Steve is still alive. Yep, Will be waiting in losers finals. We're gonna have the losers semifinal coming up here in a moment, which is gonna be Ketchup versus Chaotic Strike, who uh, had a flurry with uh, Talon no earlier. That kind of caught us off guard. We, we didn't even expect the Talon yeah. to be used and then proved us wrong instantly. Yeah, I mean, in a game where, I mean, to be frank, it's not like we all have that much experience playing it at a competitive level. Yeah. You can I, just I, play a rushdown <laughs> character. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I said, I, we're, we're both going to be honest. We've done as much research as we can. Yeah, but, but it, it, not there's much. How many tournaments has there been? This is argue. This got to be one of the largest Primal Rage tournaments in person. Yeah. Rage. I mean, I, I have to the assume 90s. it's the biggest <laughs> in at least 25 years. Yeah, it, 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 exactly. Like, there might have been some arcade tournaments back in the day, but yeah. hi history of that back in the, or the early 90s is tough. I was yeah. I was still very young at the time as well. Yeah, I was a kid. I, I did not have a camera to watch this stuff. And I mean, I know the arcade I went to growing up sure as heck didn't have Primal Rage tournaments. I said at the time, the only tournaments I remembered was, you know, a few Mortal Kombat or uh, Killer Instinct was pretty big at the time at, one, at my local arcade down in Springfield, Illinois. I'd go visit my grandma. Ray. I remember doing Tekken and Marvel tournaments at my old arcade. Ah, yeah. All right, Ketchup's going to be on the one-player side Ray. going up against Chaotic Strike. Yep, doing a quick button check, making sure everything is working. I'm actually kind of blown away by how strong these everybody has been at this game during this top eight. Yeah. They really kind of proved me wrong. I was I wasn't sure how well people were going to be prepared. Yeah, and they're they have been busting out a lot of great combos, techniques. They know how to input all the specials. Great. Yeah, and I mean we've been seeing a lot of really good short hop pressure. It is really hard to do short hops correctly because you need to do down the direction you're hopping, and then down the opposite direction that you hopped. Yeah. It is a funky motion for sure. 
It's like a weird reverse tiger knee input that you have to do <laughs> to correctly get a forward short hop. And I think to get the jump cancel is even harder. On. Yeah, it is mondo hard to get the jump cancel correctly. But I mean, we've been seeing it. It's yeah. very impressive. It is not easy. Taking a moment here. Uh, yep. thumbs, thumbs up from uh, the crew here. All right. Red. Are we going in? Uh, nope. nope. Okay. Gonna okay. Select this character. We're going to have Vertigo, yep, on the player yep. one side. Vertigo Where's Talon. That yep. that arcade board. It's so cool. It's so big. Vertigo but versus Talon. Okay. I, I had a feeling Chaotic Strike might stick with Talon after that last match. Yeah. I, and honestly, it's, oh, accidentally Ooh, jumped into yeah. it. Missed time to jump in a little. This is actually a matchup that, like, Talon, despite being relatively bottom tier in the game, he fights Vertigo very well because he's just so fast. Yeah. And her moves, they're slow. Like, that's her downside. That's really I'm not sure if that's the jump or a special move that kind of launches Talon to the top of the screen. If he's doing the spin ball, that is his command jump. Ah. And I think he has two follow-ups off of it. Great match here. Vertigo with yep. the life lead, double teleport. Catches him out of the air. That spike has a lot of active frames. Yeah, and he's oh, oh good catch. This oh, is close. Oh, time is catching out, but I think Talon's gonna take it. No, oh, just had a lead. Yeah, I thought for sure that Chaotic had that. Oh, tech the grab there. Yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, the, the teleports are coming out, and then I noticed the time was a factor. Yeah, that's why Ketchup was doing all those teleports, which is killing time. Because Talon does not have a lot of great things to hit above him. Yeah. Definitely a air to ground and ground to ground rushdown character, but. Oh, that was an unfortunate getting hit by that backwards hitbox. Nice to jump in. Nice blocking there. Yeah, depending on the distance, Talon is able to punish that tail spike on block. It's not something that most of the cast can do. Nice combo there from Ketchup. 20% streaker Ooh. combo. Close. Uh, strike <laughs> needs a little more damage. Oh. Yep, that'll take Got it. Got it. Chaotic strike. Takes the round. Rage. Oh, early on the anti-air. Big damage. damage. Yep. Oh, drops oh, it. Dropped. Oh, went for that double slide combo. No, Can't no, do that. No, no cheese for you. Tried to shimmy to the other side. Is this rage? Nope, just stun. Yeah, got the stun. It was right before. Now yep, there's the rage. Absurd. Yeah, unfortunately, Talon has the worst rage in the game. So you don't actually get that much benefit from it. Catch up using his. Oh, this time he did the rock. Yeah, he froze him. Medusa stare. Game one went to catch him. Stick with Talon. Yep, right back in. Sticking with Talon. This is a two out of three still. It's just oh, uh, good jump semis. in. Yeah, good jump in to start. Uh, not a lot of damage, but that's just sort of Talon's lot in life. Yeah, there we go again. Punishing that spike tail on block. Just not something most of the cast can do. That time gets hit, though. This time the meaty jump. But this walk speed is starting to nice. cause Air some to pressure. Nice, him out of that, yeah. Yeah, Talon's walk speed is, ooh, what oh, a setup yeah, blockable. to blockable. Yep, still not quite in the rage. Next hit for Ketchup here. I wonder if the double slide that ah. he's doing, if that's actually part of a setup that he has, because he keeps consistently doing it. I can't imagine rage. he's making a mistake. There must be some setup that where you get off of that. Teleports behind there. Nice blocking there. Ooh, good yeah, anti air. Yeah. I wasn't sure if he would hit on the right side for that. Patient play here. Both. Yeah, Ketchup is learning he can't be quite as free with his buttons because Talon is just able to walk in so quickly. Nice that if you do the wrong. There from Ketchup. Good defense oh, there, but double gets overhead. Yeah, double overhead. Again. Yeah, Talon's double overhead setups are even harder to block than a lot of other characters because he can do it on the way down. 
Almost tied it up here, but still a life lead. Chaotic Strike trying to tie this up one to one here. 10 seconds oh. left. Close. Clock moves so quick in this game. Yeah. And Chaotic Strike is going to take the round and the game. We're going to tie it up one to one. Once again, this is still two out of three. Winner of this moves on to Losers Finals. Where Statistic Steve is sitting and waiting. Yeah, I, I didn't see ketchup changing, but No, I didn't see that either. I didn't see I haven't seen ketchup use any other characters this whole time. Yeah, it just took me a couple of seconds to reset the brain. It's very important considering how much brain damage you get playing the game. You can see the life bar for it right oh. on the top. Nice conversion there. Oh, missed the jump in. Oh, okay. Big punish. Wow. Nice combo there. Yeah, 30 Warp percent. Warp factor nine. That's monster damage for Talon. Oh, couldn't quite get the slide follow up. Still very even. Nice anti-air. Nice, yeah, Ooh, once yeah. again, kind of gets over that long range little poke out of the air. Had the right angle. Here, nice block. Yeah, just rocking that spin. It is always so ridiculous seeing how much ta uh, Vertigo can teleport. Yeah, like it's just endless. Chaotic Strike, though, Ready. on match point here. Impressive talent display. He's just been able to find those angles now. Nice conversion there. Not a whole lot of damage. That little streaker combo. I love the names of the combos. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Chaotic has gotten a read on which buttons to use to win the priority battle. Yeah, it definitely. He's been getting all the air-to-airs. He's been oh, finding these angles to get in on. Hop little, oh, yeah, there it is. Get under. He was trying to get the walk under on Bring that. And finishes it with the spit, but it doesn't combo. But he's got a huge light lead here. One more hit. I'm surprised Talon didn't get rage there. Oh. Gonna need Eight to find something here. big. Could potentially just lame him out here for the next few seconds. Yeah. Oh, takes him out of the air though, but he's gonna need to do a lot of damage quick and not yeah. enough. Yeah, gets caught. Yeah, Talon just Ray. doesn't do enough damage to be able to get that. Would have needed Rage to have even a chance for it. Here we go. Final round. Catch up. Vertigo against Chaotic Strikes Talon to determine who goes into losers finals. Good punish. Gonna get big damage. Ooh, missed the spike. Couldn't finish it. Nice punish on that. Gets again? It again, yes. There, there we go. There he finishes it. Yeah, the strike's got to find a way in right now. Ketchup has just been harassing him with those pokes. Yeah, he wakes up. That goes into berserk mode. He's to find a, a bunch of hits, yeah, like cool. even with the berserk. Oh, no, he woke oh. up again, and it didn't work out for him. Ketchup takes it. 2-1, going to move into losers' finals against Sadistic Steve, who's been sitting and waiting, and as well as uh, Mustard is yeah. waiting in grand finals for the winner of that. Uh, we'll see if Sadistic Steve can pull out the win against the other half of the condiment duo. Yep. And he was dead close versus Mustard, so... I guess we're just going to have to see, does he go with Chaos again? I, or does he go for the mirror I feel match? like Chaos was working best for him, but I was kind of surprised that the uh, Vertigo pick there in that in that winner's match really kind of caught me off guard. Yeah, I didn't expect it. But we're going to have a quick break before we resume here, and once we return, we're going to have Losers Finals followed by Grand Finals. Super exciting, so stick around. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you want to add to your Combo Breaker merch legacy collection, don't forget to head over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. Get yours before they run out. Primal Rage at Combo Breaker 2023. We are wrapping it up here with the finals of Top 8. We're going to have losers Ready. finals and grand finals. I'm Humbag. I'm Alex. I'm 
so excited yes. to have been here for this. This has been incredible to watch. We're going to have a uh, top eight bracket here showing here. As you can see, what has happened so far. Uh, Sadistic Steve uh, was over Harambe to make it into winner's finals as well as Mustard defeating Dacid Bro. And then Mustard went on to win Ray. that to, to pave his way into grand finals. And Steve was a hair's breadth away from winning. Like he went up 2-0 very quickly. It, it was a but quick turnaround. But Mustard then, was able to find some new angles to attack in and Steve just couldn't make the adjustment quickly enough. And then Ketchup himself has had a nice run through the loser's bracket going over Joe P. Real, Dacid Bro, and Chaotic Strike in another great match there in the loser semi. While Chaotic yeah. Strike also had a imp pretty impressive run as well through losers, defeating Azaxa and Harambe for Harambe. Still mad that Harambe wasn't playing one of the apes. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, we're gonna have losers finals here coming up here in just a moment, which is gonna be Ketchup on the player one side against Sadistic Steve, who's used a handful of characters so far, was using uh, Chaos very well once again in uh, the winner's finals. Yeah. Quickly going up to, oh. Yeah, and then decided at the last moment after losing to, like losing a round to switch to Vertigo and just wasn't quite able to find the right angles yeah. to and get those attacks on. Unfortunately did not go in his favor, but Still alive here, three out of five, losers finals match. Coming up here, Ketchup, player one side, yeah. Sadistic Steve on the player two side, and there he is, yeah, yep, going, going with chaos. the Chaos. Yeah, the one awkward thing is that Chaos has kind of stubby normals, so you really need to be pouring the aggression on and not let. And as you said, just quickly used that tackle special to get in right yeah. away. Yeah, it is super fast, but I mean, if Ketchup can get back like stay at this range, it is really hard for, it's gonna be really hard for Steve to find his way in. Good Ooh, conversion good. there, caught him, All yeah, out. caught him out of the teleport. Catch up though, impressive here, yeah. multiple combos. I mean, this ain't all bad for Steve. He's also one touch away. Chaos does a bunch of damage. Anybody's matcher on the next hit, pretty much. And Ooh, gets the air, air to air, yeah. That long reaching has a lot of active frames, pretty much out the entire time. Yeah. Rage. Yeah, Steve would have needed to do a dedicated anti-air, not... Ooh. He went greedy and tried to get the air to air so that he could get the combo afterwards. Which, I understand, sometimes you just need to go for it. Oh, good! Gets the full punish. Catch up. Oh, gets lands on the puke, which unfortunately did not let him juggle afterwards. Quick jump in, yeah, oh. that hyper off so fast. Yeah. Rabbit mode? Oh, oh tried to grab him. Went for the throw. Tackle, punish on the tackle there. Jump in, finishes it. Tries to go for a reset jump in potentially. Steve try, is trying to get his grounded anti airs, but is missing them a little again. Nice. Punish the oh, puke wow. with the teleport yeah. on reaction. Shrinks him down, eats him up, takes game one. <laughs> He's got the voodoo. <laughs> Chaos magic. Taking a moment there, Steve yeah. is thinking about it, going right back to chaos. Rage. I mean, he was doing okay. He just wasn't able to find the last touches he needed. Oh, there's that anti-air. Yep. Little two-piece off the overhead. Trying to get his way in, but punishes the tackle again. Jump in full combo. Oh, teleports. Went for even oh, bigger nice. damage, yeah. Yeah, that tackle just has a great hitbox. Oh, oh no! The active frames on that. Yeah, it stays active for a while. Like your best bet is usually to jump in because it's effectively a command grab. You do jump it, but oh, what a the other the side! Overhead. Yeah, I got the yeah. overhead. Vertigo though still has a pretty big life lead. Gets nice. the air conversion. Overhead. Again. Overhead again. Trying to jump out. It does it again. Three times. Four times. I mean, if they're not going to block their dome, just keep hitting it. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Chaos go bonk. Oh, tried to shoulder tackle, but I don't think he had the negative edge on it. Converts it there once again. Yep. 
using those. Active frame, double jump in with that target. It's almost like basically a target combo in a way. Yeah. Oh, no. Unblockable. Doesn't get the full combo follow-up. Still gets hit by the spike. Same. This is still very doable by Steve. He's got that giant damage boost. Ooh, punish, good punish. Yeah, punish on the tackle again. Not might, quite enough health. Might be doing that. it a little too late after the puke. Yeah. you can kind of get like, I think you can get plus frames, it looks like. If you're yeah, at full screen you can do it. It's just kind of tricky. Once again, Vertigo just has such an answer for a lot of projectiles, can teleport so quickly and punish. Gets hit by the spike. Yeah, I think he was looking to try and jump through it, but. Steve was mistiming his overheads and Ketchup just woke up buttons here. Gonna wake up in the rage mode here with Insane. And he's not getting any big hits, but these are all doing way more damage than you would think. Oh, just Ooh, caught. Just, yeah. yeah. And that does Dang. enough. Ketchup 2-0, quick lead. Back to the stone. Stones him up. Breaks him up, takes a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Steve has not been able to get into the range he needs to outside of at the very start of their first game. He's he's just been kind of stuck playing catch-up's game. Ketchup looks very dead set on facing his brother in grand oh, finals again. here if he takes this game. Going in too early against the voodoo stare. Yeah, it's hard to tell when it's exactly gone. Big damage. Oh, trying to go for the fancy juggle. You can kind of juggle after the teleport. It's very tricky to do correctly, but back in the insane. Catches him out of the air here. Like I said, big damage boost here. There's the back fist. Oh, there we go. Got yeah, the sweep into the look tackle. At that. There's that big damage. Even just a three hitter did 25%. Good blocks. And you can't die from chips, so. Nice air oh. air. This could be next oh. hit, and there's that poke again. Vertigo with those nasty long range pokes. Yeah, Steve blinked there first. There you go. Yeah, there's a punish on that, it looks like. There Once you again, go again. Yeah, catches him out of the air. All right. Steve has found some. Our cloud is out. A lot of, lot of screen control. Yep, got the overhead off of it, but couldn't get any more. Oh, nice super jump. Oh, but missed the tackle. Oh, missed times the uh, the jump in air. Catches him out of the air. Got him in the corner here. I don't think Vertigo has any particularly great corner combos, but a regular this, combo this is very don't really dangerous matter. here. A couple, one little string here could easily take it for catch up, and he does! There it is. Man, that was a very fast 3 0. There it is, 3 0. Catch up is going to move on to Grand Finals. He points him. I want you! I want you! Oh, there's the brotherly love. We're going to have catch up versus mustard. We're in Chicago. So I know Mustard is generally favored here. That's true. But who are my ketchup fans out there? Who's rooting for ketchup in this? Anybody? We got some claps. We got some claps. Anybody root for Mustard out there? Who do you want? Flip a coin. Ketchup and Mustard. I think they're both tasty. I, I use both. I use both. They're both delicious. Looking forward to this grand finals here. Mustard is on the winner's side, so he does have the advantage that he gets an extra three out of five set if Ketchup takes it. But I know as someone with older brothers myself, when we used to play video games, this is a no hold bars match. Oh yeah, there's... I want to beat you down. There's going to be some words said that we shouldn't hear. And as I kind of predicted from the beginning, once I found out they were both here and playing in this, I'm like, oh, I'll probably see them in at least top eight, possibly facing yeah. each other in grand finals. And here we are, ketchup versus mustard in the grand finals of Primal Rage at Combo Breaker 2023. Those are words I did not think I'd be saying uh, about less than a year ago. I'm like, and once I found out Rick was bringing uh, Primal Rage here, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Very thankful that Rick decided to make this our final game. Wrapping up our Sunday here, we're gonna finish with this 
grand finals for Primal Rage. Such a just, just such a nostalgic game for a lot of people, I'm sure. It's just, it's a classic. I wish we could get an honest to God remake of it. That would be really cool. Taking a moment here, yeah. getting their setups correct. Looking hard. Ready. Button check first, I assume. Oh, he hadn't even oh, picked okay. a character. We're gonna go yep, into a sticking with check. the same characters they played all game or Are all we tournament. Going right into it. No, we're gonna do a button check real quick. Yep. Once again, we are coming down to the end of the bracket. We got the mustard and the ketchup. The condiments are sitting there in grand finals. We've had a great top eight. Uh, the, the brackets uh, were earlier this morning on the uh, setups there. We had a couple, I think we had at least two or three boards going at one point. It was mildly miraculous that we were able to get that many boards that can play the game. <laughs> exactly. Here, ready. ready to go once they uh, get the life back. Reset the game here. Yeah, it looks like we're ready to go. Just getting the final hits in so that we can reset and actually play. Showing off some combos. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Combo video time there for Buster. Headsets on, game is ready to go. All right, we are here. Grand Finals, Primal Rage, Combo Breaker 2023, Ketchup and Mustard, here we go. I've been looking forward to this. I, I had a I'm feeling so we were gonna see them in the finals and here they are, Ketchup and Mustard. I'm looking forward to this. They, they're pretty big fans of the game as well. They, like I said, yeah, there's they a put great, time in. great YouTube video they put out about the history of this game. Recommend to check it out, but here we go. Catch up using Vertigo on the player one side, going up against yep. Mustard using the Mustard Colored Sauron. Tried to anti air. That shield is a great anti air, but. Yeah. It kind of reminds yeah. me of like a Saber Wolf Eclipse. Like it just yeah. covers a lot of area. Yeah, it's just huge, but Ketchup just kept teleporting to stay away from it. Oh, Ooh, got, got the, the Yeah, almost got the full jungle fall up there. You can finish it into a uh, fireball spit or a, st a stab. Oh, great stomp. Yep. Big damage here. That three of combo did almost 30%. Yeah, air grabs in this game, when you can combo into them, they all just do so much. Oh, he's going to need one more touch Guess from the either juggle of follow up Didn't get the follow up. Oh, oh just wake up DP. Yep. Did a big yeah. chunk there. Mustard has not been afraid to wake up with that headbutt. It covers so much real estate. Right? Yeah. And it just does a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's the unblockable. Oh, nope. but this yeah. didn't have the setup for this tail spike. Pokes him out of the air. Mustard was going for the double jump in. Playing very carefully with each other right now. I guarantee Trade. they played hundreds of matches in preparation for this weekend against each other. Uh, they have to have. Who else are they going to play? <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe they kept it to themselves. Like, I ain't going to tell you my secrets. <laughs> Ooh, good air to air. I got yeah, the throw. That... Yeah, it does a lot of damage to me. Oh, just out of range of the come hither. <laughs> oh, God. That so DP. much range. <laughs> Basically, it, it's basically a diagonal line from one corner to the top. God, that was a grip. Zero seconds. Ooh, who won? Oh, Sora, wow. man, by like a pixel. That was Mustard barely any took red left. game one. That was so close. I'm going to guess he's not going to switch off Vertigo anytime. No, definitely not. Gonna be having Vertigo versus Sauron for the rest, unless Mustard has a hidden character he hasn't busted out yet. And if he does, I don't even know who you would pick to, you know, exactly. counter. Yeah. Soren's another character that is kind Whoa. of all around good. Saw a lot of damage on that ground pound. Oh, that good area. teleport. Oh, oh, he got caught by the active phrase. It was still out roaring. Oh, there's the unblockable. Looking away here, trying to get 
get in, teleports away from the fireball. Nice stab. A little two piece combo there. Gets the air to air, but couldn't get the juggle follow. A yep. little too high up. Said one couple hits here from Sauron, even with life low here. Oh, oh went, good yeah, bank. went for it, but he's still alive. Ah, uh, got yeah. caught air to air. No air blocking in this game. Said having those really active, long range jumping normals from Vertigo can really seal rounds sometimes. Yeah. Stays in the air, avoids it completely. Love it. And gets the jump in combo, brings him in. Do we get the pull? Ooh, almost, almost got again. It. Yeah, that must be a tough time. But 43%. That's one of the biggest combos we've seen yet. Yeah, at least outside of Rage. Oh. oh. Oh, again. Once again, another 30% right back in a row. Unlockable. Oh, just walk up unlockable. Almost a reset kind of there. Yep. Oh, there's oh. that DP. <laughs> so much. And catches him with the air to air. Using Not the letting claws. him play. Rage. Jump in early. Yeah, that was a quick hop. Gets almost like, yeah, gets a crossover there. Yeah, good. 50% off just a little crossover. Oh, tried to get the earthquake well, set up. Went for it again. Yeah, he did a double one, but both of them were avoided. Catch up. Oh, Big damage so combo close. there. Your screen's going crazy. Can't see anything. Holy nice. moly. Yeah, yeah he's blocking. just having to play so patiently. Of yeah, the fireball bails him out again. Yeah, it covers... A lot of area. Yeah, as long as you do the slow one, it just stays after for yeah, a really long conversion time. Conversion there from oh, us. Grab. And the throw, and that did enough. Two to nothing lead here for Mustard. Wow. Are you really going to let your brother 3 0 you? Oh, my. Don't, let a, don't let do that. Stomp on you, too. Just splat. Two to nothing for Mustard, though on potential tournament winning game here if he takes this over ketchup. Ooh, a little too far away to get the punish. Let's see the other side, oh, no conversion there. Just poking away, cancels the fireball. That's probably one of the first times I've seen fireballs clash. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Ooh. Nice, yep, nice punish on the whiff there from Ketchup. Yeah, I was trying to punish the come hither, but couldn't. Oh, jeez. Oh. Just takes to the air immediately, I think, covers. Oh, the missed the screen. double jump. Little conversion. Good little poking damage. Oh, good but block on the earthquake. Sauron still with a life lead here. It is close, though. Because of that raw damage that Sauron does. Yeah, he just hits hard. Oh, gets the jump in, gets the conversion. Not quite enough, but it's close. Super rocket launcher. Oh, we've got a chance. All right. Keeps it simple. Oh, no. Oh. It takes it. Just barely. Just yeah. barely. When he did the come hither, I'm like, I don't know if there's enough time <laughs> yeah, to actually. So, uh, is, was there enough time? It was so close. The round goes to catch up. Much needed round there. Much needed start here. Trying to t take a game here. Oh, accidentally put himself in the corner. Unfortunately, was able to teleport back out. Yeah, teleported over the ground slam. Gets the damage. Rampage oh, starts rampage. active here. Oh, and me. I mean, Soran has one of the better rages in the game. I think it's 45%. Big light lead here for Ketchup. Oh, tried yes, to do the super jump. It. That should do it. Yep. Game goes to Ketchup, fighting for his tournament life here. Freezes him, stabs him, million pieces. Taking a quick moment here, going right back into it. Yep, stick him with Sauron, like I thought. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't see either of them changing at this point. Ooh, quick command grab. Yeah, early grab. He's been punishing that stomp now multiple times here. Big damage, nice conversion. It gets a nice 30% there. Oh. Again. That time gets it. Really keeping him at range here. But oh, there we go. Caught, Good yeah. jump in. Oh, no. Did it, yeah, didn't get the sweep into it. Ooh, oh, there. Catch up really coming alive here. 
Yeah, oh, skips yeah. him with the spit. Rage. Catch up here, really having a lot of momentum after our two quick games from Mustard. Yeah. But Mustard still just needs two rounds here. Once again, catching him again. Full jump in combo, gets the juggle. Oh, again with the cross up. Yeah, he's more, yeah. not an, trying to anti-air the teleports anymore. Too, too many times are getting punished for doing so. Oh, trying. Stays in the air and punishes it too. What timing. There we go. That's how you're supposed to punish it. There's, you get the super yeah. jump. There's that big damage. Oh, this is... Oh, so close to the kill. One little poke here, one little anti-air from Ketchup. And yeah, yes, yep. there it is. The jump back catches it. This time shrinks him and eats him. Two to two now. Fighting to reset the bracket here. Ketchup and Mustard. Primal Rage, grand finals here. Two to two on the first set here. Going right back in, sticking set. with Soren and Vertigo. Ketchup Rage. needs to win this match to reset the bracket. Ooh, but good punish yeah. on the tail spike. Good start there for Mustard. Ooh, like really kind of taking control these last couple games with the momentum and really yeah. hasn't allowed Mustard to get anything going. Ooh, yeah, quick command throw. grab. Did a lot there. Good jump back, though. There's the anti-air. Wakes up with Rabbit. Yeah, Going went for the unblockable that. command yeah. grab setup again, but... Catches him out of the air. Funky hitbox interaction there. I mean, that's old games in a nutshell. Yep. You just get some funky hitboxes. Ooh, nice. Good. Yeah, nice use of the ground pad. This time does not hit. Fireball, <laughs> just a poke. That was a really clever use of it just to dodge the projectile. Because you yeah. didn't want to get anti-aired by it and knock down. Very good screen control. Ray. Mustard now on tournament point here. Just needs good one block. more round here Ooh. to take the tournament. Missed the punish on the come hither. Oh, gets, oh, the hit. gets a jump in. Gets the full damage combo there. Catch up though, poking away, trying to get a conversion here. Gets oh. the unblockable. There's the combo. And yeah, that voodoo. And once oh. again. Let's go for it one more time. No, this time jumps out. Yeah, oh, saved fireball by the trade. fireball. Yeah, fireball trade. We've yeah. seen that a few times already. Punishes the drop again with that butt, with that butt slam. Oh, big jump in. No. Lead. So seven seconds, five seconds. Oh, this oh, is really close. Here. Really close. Does he get the oh! jump in? Is that going to do enough? It does. Oh, my God. He won off the command grab super jump. Mustard takes it. Mustard is your primal rage. Primal rage combo breaker champion. How about that? With literally the last second ticking <laughs> last down. Last second. The two brothers on stage. Making the grand finals, what a great show. Mustard takes it 3-2, wraps it up with his Sauron. And I guess it's appropriate, we are still in Chicago. Mustard exactly. should win. <laughs> yeah, Mustard is still favored by the uh, the hot dog faithful. Yeah. But uh, that that's Primal Rage right there. That's some of the best cop Primal Rage I've ever seen in person for sure. I, I mean, mean how, where yeah, else have you? Yeah. Only here at Combo Breaker, here in, in, in Schaumburg. I've never gotten rage. to be in person to like a serious Primal Rage tournament before. Because like we were that? saying earlier, there's only so many of these cabinets out there. It's kind of hard to be able to play the game for <laughs> exactly. real. Exactly. But. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we are getting our top eight competitors lined up so that they can get their medals that they damn well earned. Yeah, and we're going to. Uh, quickly to recap our uh, top eight here in seventh place there was Joe P. Real and uh, Azaxa. And then Open in fifth, fifth place, yep. Yeah. We've got Harambe for Harambe and Dasabro. Then fourth was uh, Chaotic Strike. Third place, Sadistic Steve. That was, Steve put up a hell of a fight. Just couldn't quite, couldn't fight, quite find a way to get those last two wins. Yeah. I said, I really liked the, uh, once he switched to Chaos, I was really enjoying yeah. it.
Yeah, his chaos was a lot of fun. He was just kind of running into issues where he couldn't find that last hit, get the close out. And then uh, as we just saw wrapped up on uh, the grand finals there, Mustard taking it over Ketchum. Uh, the, uh, the yellow brother prevails over the yeah. red. Man, I, I can't get over that. Super jump command grab from full screen with one second left. <laughs> yeah, there was that literally was almost no, it, it, for, for a game that has a very fast ticking clock, yeah. it seemed like that lasted forever. Yeah, that was very gutsy because if that grab wouldn't have connected and dealt the damage before time. That's I, I didn't even. I, it looked like the damage wasn't even gonna get pulled off, and then it did. Yeah. And like, uh, both of them were kind of shocked when it happened too, because I don't yeah. think either of them knew what exactly yeah, was going to happen. Yeah, I thought catch up and won there. I thought for sure time had run out, but. But yeah, shout outs to that top eight. Uh, they're just handing out the medals up there now. Yep, getting everybody up, and in the correct order, always important. <laughs> you, you'd be surprised how many tournaments I've ran where uh, I, after getting to the medal ceremony, there's always like the one or two person that just peaced out. Yep. <laughs> no, then you got to go tr track them down, but it looks like we got all of them up there on stage. Primal Rage Top 8. That was a fun, fun thing to watch. Like I said, such a blast from the past to be able to witness that. And yeah. To be able to see the arcade version being used. That's the best part, was we get the actual honest-to-God arcade version. The final 2.3 patch of the arcade version. I said, shout out. I said, Galpin Ghost Arcade came through. Doc came through with the clutch. Yep. They, uh, we were able to pick up an extra board, as well as uh, Paradise Arcade <laughs> yeah. Shop. Literally doing together. some Frankenstein work there. Get it, literally bringing it to life. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to bring this all to you if it wasn't for the work of so many people just putting a board together that we could actually get the power to. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it said for for such an older arcade equipment, it requires a lot of power. Yeah, you to need run. a lot of juice for it, and especially to get it. All right, so in seventh place we got Joe P. Real along with Azaxa. And then uh, fifth place, Scott Harambe for Harambe. Also in fifth place, Dacid Bro. Coming into our top four, we have fourth place, Chaotic Strike. Showing some impressive chaos play in third place, Sadistic Steve. Our runner-up, PND Ketchup. And once again, our winner of Primal Rage at Combo Breaker 2023, PND Mustard. Everybody give a round of applause for the top eight. Once again, how often do we get to see Primal Rage in live in tournament? You raised that vinyl. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, give it up. Once again, shout out to all the top eight. Great, great display. Yeah, so many thanks for bringing us actual quality Primal Rage gameplay. And uh, that kind of wraps it up here for uh, Friday night at Combo Breaker 2023 for Primal Rage. Uh, we had a great top eight show yep. in here. Once again, uh, it's been a blast. Uh, no kidding. My name is Humbag. I'm Alex P. And, and uh, catch you later. There's going to be a lot more coming this weekend. So stay yep. tuned to all the streams. And yeah, we'll uh, certainly be here all day tomorrow and all day Sunday. So stay tuned. Have a good one. Catch you later. Yo, you see that overhead? Oh my goodness, wow. nobody was blocking that. Ooh, I anything. definitely got hit. That Ooh. was wild, man. These matches have been great. Oh, absolutely. You know what? We're about to take a quick break here, and Combo Breaker 2023 is still going on. Uh, don't worry. This time, we're going to order for yeah, you. Yeah, we got you. Don't, don't even worry about Be it. Be right back. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay, because that merch is going to go quick.